Skull Island is ruled under monsters. Of course dinosaurs rule Skull Island, but have you ever stopped to wonder what other creatures could be a threat here? In this episode, you will learn all about the giant centipedes on Skull Island, the neopedes and the megapedes. The neopedes are the aquatic centipedes of Skull Island. They have adapted to life in the water and inhabit the rivers and swamps of Skull Island. This particular specimen is Nepipede harpagadominus, aka Scorpiopede. Its name means grappling hook abdomen scorpion feet, hence the name Scorpiopede. Despite its resemblance to the scorpions, the Scorpiopede is a species of neopede. Although the majority of neopedes and megapedes use the venom in their jaws to kill prey, the Scorpiopedes are different. They use venom in their tails instead of their jaws to subdue enemies. Despite its ferocity, the scorpiopede does not eat meat, but algae scraped off of uh, branches near the water's edge. They are very territorial and will guard their area from any animal, even calm herbivores, which is why uh, the area which scorpiopedes inhabit are usually empty of other creatures. This is Aspicimex exos, boneless asp bug. It's a species of completely aquatic neopede in which the legs have, com- have been completely replaced with fins and is an active predator. It is both the fastest and most active of all the neopedes that inhabit the swamps of Skull Island. They use hard slicing plates in the jaws to catch fish and rip them up into shreds before eating them. Their size is between 18 and 20 inches long. This is Hydrocymex maximus, large serpent bug. Its name literally means large serpent bug, due to the fact that it reaches 9 to 12 feet long, the largest of all neopedes. Its venom is the most toxic of all the neopedes, and has been recorded attacking small dinosaurs. This odd specimen is rivipede venomous, which means venomous riverfoot. Scientists are not sure whether this is actually a neopede or a species of aquatic megapede. Either way, it's completely different from either species. For a start, it has much less legs and segments than either neopedes or megapedes. They hunt prey using a prong that sticks out of their mouth and holds the struggling prey with their jaws. The group of megapedes, on the other hand, are terrestrial giant centipedes. There are very few differences between uh, most of the species, but there are some that are completely unique. This one on Anne's shoulder is Megapede deraponesis, which means creeping death giant feet. It is the largest of all the megapedes, reaching 3 to 5 feet long. Females lay their eggs in rotting logs and will defend them with her life. They eat small reptiles and mammals and use a potent venom to subdue their prey. But they will also attack larger animals whenever the chance comes to them. These are two more unique species of centipede uh, that live on Skull Island. The one at the bottom right is Megapede humus, which means earth giant feet. They chase after invertebrates and rats under the ground and use their long front legs to both dig and to subdue their prey. Females will excavate tunnels for themselves in which they will lay their eggs. In there, the eggs and the newly hatched young will be protected from predators. The larger specimen is Gias Gias, which means mythological hundred-armed giant. There is only one genus for its species and it reaches from 20 to 30 inches long. What's unique about this megapede is that it's a specialized egg cracker. The Gias Gias uses its strong mandibles to pick up unattended dinosaur or bird eggs and then crushes them with the mandibles. After this, it laps up the escaping egg yolk and hides before the mother can return to find the destroyed egg. I hope all of you have enjoyed the first episode of Walking with Kong. And I hope you also enjoy the coming episodes.